a brand new card called the Little Prince is coming to Clash Royale. Today I'm going to show you how to get him for free, his stats, how to use him and gameplay. If you guys enjoyed the sneak peeks, leave a like and let's hop right into it. The Little Prince is a champion rarity and you unlock him at Arena 18. This card is going to be added November 6th and as soon as the update drops, you are going to be able to get him for free. The way you get this champion 100% for free is you have to be in arena 11 or higher. Once you are in arena 11, you get this icon appear on your screen. If you click this icon, it will give you the brand new champion for free. You guys can see on this account, it says right here, unlock at arena 18, and that is the brand new champion. I'm clearly in Electro Valley, but we are going to claim it here and boom unlocked. It's a huge W Supercell is doing this. After you have claimed him, there's a few training battles so you understand how the card works. And at the end, you unlock a free banner. We are going to do those in a second, but first let's take a look at the Little Prince. This is a 3 elixir champion who has a 3 elixir ability. The best way to think about this card is it's 2 cards in 1. Let's start with the Little Prince himself. Here are the stats of a level 11 Little Prince. You guys can see he has 700 hit points, so that means he can survive a fireball. He is a ranged attacker, very similar to the Musketeer. Same range, similar hit points, and of course he can hit ground and air. The thing that makes him stand out is he gains increased attack speed when he's standing still. So if he's standing still firing at the same target, he is going to gain more hit speed. But let's talk about the ability, and this is what makes him unique. A 3 elixir ability called the Royal Rescue. This spawns in a brand new troop who charges into the battlefield doing the initial charge damage and then it's a pretty tanky troop to help protect your little prince. I like to think about the Guardian as a Dark Prince. It's very similar, similar hit points, does similar damage to a Dark Prince as well. Of course the ability does have a 30 second cooldown but it is possible to get multiple abilities off with this card. Overall in terms of value, this is a super good card for the cost. It's a 3 elixir musketeer that can spawn a 3 elixir dark prince. A very good champion. The card description here, who let their nephew into the arena? This mischievous royal gains hit speed when firing, as long as he stands still. He may look weak, but he's always being watched from afar. So let's go through these training battles and also unlock this new banner. So the first training battle here, and we are up against the red king. I actually haven't done this before so we're going to experience this together somebody stop that child he's getting away with my scroll i can't do a kid's voice no chance the scroll is mine so for you guys that do not know the law behind this card is he stole the champion scroll and that's how he became a champion himself anyway let's place the little prince here hey royal hog help me out i'll make it worth your while let's play a hog rider and boom he's locked on to the tower going to start gaining that extra hit speed. You're not getting away that easily. Uh-oh, time for some backup. Yep, this is the ability. So a three elixir ability. We press it and boom. The knockback is crazy from this card. Who did you annoy this time? Bro, it's such a cool card. I love it, honestly. It's so good. Like I said, the Guardian's very tanky as well. And then the hit speed as it speeds up on the King Tower. It's insane. Anyway, let's quickly cycle, cycle, cycle here. Back round to the champion because that's the card we all care about. Going to use the ability instantly here. I use the ability there to actually gain a tank for this troop. Easy three crown. On to Princey Pursuit. Oh, minor wall breakers. Okay. I didn't see the champion, so are we going up against him? We are. Okay. No Red King tells me what to do. Do us all a favor and retire already. You should always respect your elders. Wow, what a wholesome message, especially when they can throw fireballs. Okay, this escalated. So the little prince actually does survive a fireball. Nice try, but I'm still here. That was too close. Really, it wants me to play barbs. That does not seem right, but sure. I need a royal rescue. Yeah, that is definitely not the right play. These things go come in and absolutely wreck everyone. Another day, another rescue. So now we're playing against it. So it's like, how do we defend against this new champion? Obviously, he's just played minions and a musketeer into a wizard. That's not the right play. And he played the new card again. So we're going to just Mega Knight Slam onto this. He actually used the ability as well. Mega Knight Slam does not take it out. Oh, that's kind of bad. But apparently the spawn damage is not enough. Okay, Mega Knight jumps on the tower, doing a ton of damage. Going to be honest, this trainer 
Corsair isn't the best, but we do three crown him. Daggers at Dawn, the final one. We get to play with him this time, let's go. The reward is nearly yours. We just need to win this battle. I mean, it should be pretty easy. Let's go a little prince ourselves. He did his guardian very early. I waited a little bit so we get the knockback effect. We are going to also mini Pega, boom, take out his little prince very easily. And that's pretty awesome stuff. Do you think we can get two abilities off? I mean, I'm going to try. It might be a little bit difficult, but we should be okay here. Our first guardian still alive. I'm going to completely ignore those rascals and then get a second ability off. Go, 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 go. Boom, second ability. Beautiful, protecting my little prince and that extra hit speed is devastating for him. So as you can imagine, the tutorial for this card is very easy, but at the end of it, you do get a free banner. This is from the trailer that they sneak peeked. And then of course we get the little prince and the guardian. Okay, so we're playing against myself here and we are going to test out some mechanical things about this new card. So the first thing we are going to test is that extra hit speed. Like I said, this card gains hit speed if it's shooting the same target so what we're going to do is actually zap it to see if it resets the hit speed or not so let's play a giant here let's go for a little prince and then you guys can kind of see from the card itself what kind of stage it's in that's full speed so we are going to zap it here and it does reset so you can reset the hit speed we are also going to do the exact same test here this time with a log see if the log knockback makes the hit speed reset so there we go that's full power right there we log it and it does reset. So you can reset this card when it's at full speed. We are also going to test how he does against a graveyard. So we're going to giant graveyard at the bridge here. We're going to play a little prince for these skeletons and we're going to keep that giant away from the graveyard and boom, there we go. The little prince doing a great job there once he sped up. Now I'm going to use the ability here just before he does cross the bridge. And yep, we spawn a Guardian in front for three Elixir. That is a devastating push for your opponent to stop. And it can actually take the entire tower. Let's see how much damage it does to the King Tower. I don't think it will take the King Tower, but that's a lot of damage. Considering that was just a counter push, we took half the King Tower. That is beautiful. Another mechanic I really want to highlight is actually against the Mega Knight. This Mega Knight, he's going to try and jump onto my Little Prince, but the Guardian knockback is insane saving the little prince mid-air now keep in mind as well the guardian's ability does splash damage so we're going to play a skarmy here and you guys can see it takes out the entire skarmy that's how big of a splash radius this thing does when it charges in it is massive overall i really like this card it's good value for elixir it's definitely unique and it's mechanical it's very easy to use but if you want to master this card it's going to take a little bit of time to learn and i think this is a great addition to the game for more update info subscribe